Lesson 1.2 Economics and the Populist Party In the late 1800s, many farmers were trapped in a vicious economic cycle. Prices for crops were falling, and farmers often mortgaged their farms so that they could buy more land and produce more crops. Good farming land was becoming scarce, though, and banks were foreclosing on the mortgages of increasing numbers of farmers who couldn't make payments on their loans. Moreover, the railroads were taking advantage of farmers by charging excessive prices for shipping and storage. In 1862, the Morrill Act was passed, giving each state 30,000 acres of land for each senator and each representative. The land was to be sold and the profit used to establish state colleges. Because of this act, thousands of people have been able to receive college educations. Greenback dollars was the Union government's way of paying for the Civil War. These paper dollars were not backed by specier, which means silver or gold, actual bars, and were never worth more than 67 cents. After the war, business owners called for the retirement of the greenback because it caused inflation. Farmers and other consumers wanted inflation to help ease their debts. The result was a compromise of 356 million greenbacks left in circulation. Founded in 1867, the National Grange of the Patrons of Husbandry was a fraternity-type organization designed to help farmers in America. The Grange eventually became a, became a political party that fought for the rights of farmers and the needs of the agricultural community. The Populist Party was formed by Americans who did not support big banks or big business. It was a short-lived political party because it broke into several factions and then eventually disappeared entirely. The gold standard debate is a long-standing issue. Countries backed their paper money with gold or silver bars. After the Civil War, the U.S. followed the example of other international countries and used the gold standard system.